So in this video we're going to be doing one more thing on notifications, we're going to be sending notifications whenever someone likes a post because at the minute we only have one type of notification and that didn't feel complete enough for the series so we're going to be showing an example of another kind of notification when someone likes a post. So on our post page we have our notification function and we probably should put this in its own class. So what we'll do is we'll create a new class, call it notify. The class is called notify and we're going to put in the notify function. Then on our profile page we're going to include notify. And then on our post page, since we've included notify on our profile page, we can scroll up and we can safely change this from self notify to notify notify because we're getting it from the notify class, not from the post class anymore. And if we test this, so it's the reason it's got this error is because the class name and the function name are the same. So we could just say, we could say create notify. So it's just so that the function name is different from the class name. I should have realized at the minute we're creating a constructor and we're trying to set it as static and that won't work. Just change this to notify. Change this as well, test it one more time, we'll refresh, resend the data, there's our new post, there's our new notification. So in the notify class now what we can do is include different types of notifications. So if I go back to the posts class and I scroll down wherever we're liking a post, we want to send a notification. So what we'll do is we'll say notify, create, notify, something like that. And what we do is we normally pass the text to notify the user. So what we could actually do is change this to where text is optional and then down here what we'll do is if count text equals zero in other words if there was no string passed to the text which means the type of notification is a like for example because a like doesn't have any text associated with it and here when we create notify we want to set our text equal to an empty string and our post id is going to be post id and what we'll actually do is we'll say and if text equals zero and post id doesn't equal zero, then we're going to insert a new notification. We're going to say DB query. And if we go back to posts. We can copy this query, insert into notifications, just like this. And here we're inserting into notifications. The type of the notification is going to be two. The receiver is going to be the user who receives the like. So the ID of the user who wrote the post. So we're going to keep that as R. The sender is going to be the person who liked the post and extra is going to be nothing. So we're going to set extra equal to an empty string. So here we're going to run a query and we're going to change that to temp actually. And we're going to go to SQL Pro and that's going to help us write out the query. So we want to select the receiver and the sender. We're going to say posts dot user ID comma post likes dot user ID from posts comma users. So we're selecting those two columns from the two different tables and we want to join them together. So we're going to say we're posts dot ID equals post likes dot post ID. Whoops. And we're selecting from users and posts. We should be selecting posts and post likes. We have no errors, but we get no output because the result of this join query is nothing because if we go to our content, we have these two rows, but I'll actually just remove them because those two rows are just from an earlier part of the series when there was a mistake. So there isn't actually any likes on any of the posts. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to like this post. There's a like. I'm going to refresh. And there we have a like on the post ID of 38. And if I go to query and we run it again, now we can see the user with the ID of one liked a post posted by a user with an ID of one. So we're going to set posts.user ID as receiver, which is going to be the like receiver and post likes dot user ID as sender, which is going to be the person who sent the like. So now we can see the receiver is the person who received it and the sender is the person who sent it. If I try and like something else, for example, a post on HowCode, I'll like that and I refresh. Now we can see the receiver was HowCode with the ID of three and the sender was Francis with the ID of one. So we're going to copy that query and we're going to paste it in here. And then finally, we're going to stick on another where clause. We're going to say where posts dot ID equals post ID. And then here we want to pass post ID using our array. Just like that. So temp returns this query, which is an array with two columns in it. And what we're going to say is R is equal to the temp variable. We're going to get the one item that's returned and then we're going to get the receiver. And then we're going to copy that and change it to S to get the sender because we renamed them in the query as receiver and sender, as you can see here. So we refer to them as receiver and sender. And we have two work clauses. We just want to change that to an and. So we'll try this again. We'll click like. We get no output, but it seems to have worked. We go to SQL Pro and we refresh and now we have a new notification. The type is one, the receiver and the sender are the same because I'm logged in as Francis and I did it on Francis's profile page. If I go to HowCode and try it, you can see the receiver was three, which was HowCode and the sender was Francis, which was one and the type is two. So now back on the notify.php page, what we're going to do is we're going to say else if, and here we'll just check if the type of the notification is two. If type equals two, then we want to get the sender name again. So we'll just paste that in here. So now we have the sender name. Once again, we can just echo 
sender name, liked your post. And now if we just go back to notify and we refresh, you can see it says Francis liked your post. Uh, before we go, go to notifications and when we select them from the database, we'll say order by ID descending, which will show the newest notifications at the top, just like that. And we need to put in a new horizontal line. And there we go. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.